QT's laughing at EU. X Army Chief Destroys Brussels Dream for Pointless Euro Army Brussels' dreams of creating its own army were today brutally dismissed by a former military chief who said Vladimir Putin will be laughing at the prospect of facing a Euro force. Tory MEP Geoffrey Van Ord, a retired British Army brigadier, said Europe was being distracted by pointless plans for an EU military which were simply playing into the hands of the Kremlin. He warned Eurocrats' plans for a defence union viewed by many commentators as a thinly veiled euphemism for a Euro army would undermine efforts to revitalise the NATO alliance. And Mr Van Ord, who voted Remain in the June 2016 referendum, said Brussels was primarily pursuing the creation of its own military as part of its quest to become a superstate and not for sound defence reasons senior officials including Foreign Affairs Chief Federica Mogherini have significantly stepped up their military ambitions following the Brexit vote, laying the foundations for an EU Army HQ and defence budget. Defence experts and former military officers in the UK have warned that Britain is increasingly getting dragged into a European military superstructure and should look to extricate itself as soon as possible. Eurocrats claim that they need better defence capability to face growing threats from countries like Russia and instability in the Middle East, as well as countering international terrorism. They also argue that Europe's current model, based on 28 separate militaries, is insufficient and that the continent could better meet its NATO requirements by pooling resources. But these claims were brutally dismissed by Mr Van Ord, who said they are a smokescreen to help push through an EU army under the radar and in doing so weaken the sovereignty of member states. He said, the problem with the European Union is the people leading the EU are intent first and foremost on building an integrated European state for them that's a priority above all others. So they are determined first of all through massive propaganda efforts over many years to convince people about the utility and the reality of a state called Europe. Next to the common currency we have a defence union as a great ambition. You can't get closer to the bone of national sovereignty than with your armed forces. And so once the EU gets its hand on those then you're a long way to the eradication of national sovereignty right across Europe and the creation of a European state. Hard Brexit, Andrea Leadsom The former brigadier observed that often more Europe creates more of a problem than it solves and predicted that a cobbled together EU army would fall apart at the first whiff of gunfire in battle. He said, we have an organisation which has been there since 1949 in the form of the NATO alliance that is our great defence against major aggression. That's what we all should be focusing on. NATO certainly needs revitalising. It is the defence organisation with credibility. If you ask Moscow what would they be worried about, they would be worried about the unity of Europe backed by the military might of the US. Can you imagine a state called Europe with President Jucker giving the orders to deploy troops from a variety of nations putting their lives on the line for Brussels? Mr Van Ord laughed, and can you imagine, Moscow would be laughing its head off about all this. The first whiff of gunfire and the whole lot would disperse. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe English News Hub for new excited videos.